Hi folks, thanks for joining me again. Um, welcome to another watercolour demonstration today. Um, September now, so winter's on the horizon, so I thought I'd get started early with this uh, simple little winter scene for you. So before we start painting, let's have a look at the colours I've used. So on the palette for this one, I've used Ultramarine, Risen Crimson, Raw Sienna, Burnt Umber and Light Red. They're all Cotman watercolours. The brushes, the large one Ransom Ake, and then I used a couple of riggers. The one I've left in the jar, which I shouldn't do, and the other one I've put there, which I should do. A zero and a size three. Now I'm going to start off with a bit of water, and then it's something like this. These are in ultramarine. Then using the same colours, I'm going to pop in a few. Trees, general background, so that will disappear. Right, I'm just uh, I'm going to change that in a minute. I don't, I'm quite keen on how that sky's worked out. In fact, let's just read it. Lizarine crimson. A bit of ultramarine into there as well. Need a little bit of tissue just to pop out. Actually, remove quite a bit of this actually because I still don't like it. But try and just try and work with it as best I can. Um, switch the rigger brush. trunks in first and then I'll pop the uh, foliage on afterwards. Just do a few over on this side as well I think. forward I want some slightly stronger ones and to just get a light red into all of this I 
back to the Riga brush, bit of red, bit of blue. This time we've got a bigger tree up there. Stronger foliage. in there. the board. Now on this side, these all those together. I'm going to use the brush this time. Just to swivel it about. We've got a big tree there this time. We'll pop another one over there like that and then use the rigger to add a few branches something more like that and a few more on there just give it up there like that Going down there. Let's clean the brush. I want to get back to the lighter colours now. So get that. Let's go into a bit of raw sienna. A bit of burnt umber as well on there. Things just popping up amongst all the snow. clouds where that water was just dripping down so get rid of the water and sort of create clouds at the same time um, into the path type of thing. I'm just brush it in very very light. And just take a bit of a red, a bit of blue. Just sort of mm, something like that. Right, I'm going to stick and set the rigger brush down, just, just do a few little random details here and there, scattered about. Um, in fact, let's use the, the, 
got to get into the habit of not putting the brush in the water because I keep bending the airs. Um, just got a zero rigger here, size zero. Um, I'll just go along and just. That's a little. Things growing down here. I don't know if you can hear the goldfinches, it's just non-stop. They're just feeding there on the on the sunflower art. It's just non-stop chirping. Um right, I want to put a little figure in. And I'm gonna go red this time. Let's go bold. Let's go red and put our little man in. We're gonna red, then I'm going into blue. Putting some shadow, so I've got to dry it first. The shadows, I'm just going to take the hike, clean the hike. Um, bit of red, bit of blue, just a simple red blue shadowy colour. Take a bit of that crimson as well. Right then, so imagine the, the sun's over here somewhere, so I'm going to cast some shadows. And the first ones are coming down off the tree and they're going across there like that and then up the other side. And then we've got something, I've had a shot there. Just another one across there. A little man and dog, I need a shadow coming off them. And little shadows even there. I think. A little bird up there in the sky. I'm gonna call that one finished, I think. Take a bit of red there, and I'll just sign my name over this corner. 
I'm going to pull that one through. So let's stick a mount on that and see what it looks like. So there's a the finished paint in the mount. So we're going to have a closer look at it. Made a bit of a mess of the sky, but um, I think in the, the overall scheme of things, the sky works out better than I, th I thought it would actually. Um, distant trees put in nice and soft, sort of fading away, and then you can see how as we come through into the fore and middle ground, the, the colour's gone a lot stronger and darker. Um, a lot of blue, a lot of ultramarine in these mixes. Um, you can just about see it in the tree, see the blue. Possibly you should have used a bit more red. But the main thing was to get that dark contrast against the, the lighter sky and, and, and snow. One of the things I love about the height brush is you're sort of dabbing here and there. You get some nice, with the hairs going in all directions and things, you can get some nice random marks. Um, that's sort of, sort of throughout the painting really. And then you just have to make sure when you're representing snow, obviously the white of the paper is representing the snow. So just painting around it, leaving plenty of paper unpainted to create that snow effect. And then just try to vary the colours, just get some nice sort of winter colours in there, lots of reds and things. And a bit of rigor work, lots of branches and trunks and twigs and things with lack in the foliage. See our little man and his dog there walking towards that little fence I put in with the, with the rigor brush. Um, a bit of burnt umber at the base of this tree, a bit of variation in colour. You can see that the, the uh, just, it was just just the shadows are just a simple ultramarine and light red. Um, some recent paintings, I've gone too much with the shadow, just used a broad stroke and just, just bashed it straight in without too much thought. This time I've tried to keep it much narrower. So the first one put in from these trees there, narrow band, and then some shadows from trees that are out of shot here. Just so you could still see plenty of the, the, the snow and the, and the path as well. That was just put in with a bit of light red and ultramarine. As I moved most things, just trying to keep it subtle. And you can see where I've just scraped in with the card, a bit of a few pence posts here and there just to contrast against the ones I put in with the brush. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks as always for watching and for your support. Very much appreciated. Um, if you've got any questions, please ask. Um, keep practicing, and I'll see you again soon.